Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Noah Erickson from Innovative Family Wellness. Thank you very much for joining me as I continue discussion about coronavirus and what we can do to strengthen our immune system. I wanted to talk about three populations of people tonight who are additionally worried and concerned. And I also want to give out three great tips regarding dietary things you can do in your own home. All right, so number one, we're worried about our senior population, right? It's typically these folks who would have something that would immunocompromise them like diabetes, or perhaps they have a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Can their immune systems be helped too to fight off viruses? Absolutely. What's one common thing we test for and I find that they're deficient in? Vitamin D, which also helps to explain oftentimes why they have higher incidences of bone conditions like osteoporosis. So seniors, hear me, vitamin D is extremely important for immune system. What else do I often find in seniors? We realize that their dietary intakes of protein are low and you need additional protein to help with your immune system. So certainly seniors out there with diabetes, whenever your blood sugar goes low and then high, you actually surge something called insulin, which is pro-inflammatory. And if we're talking about corona, we have to shut inflammation down from our airways, right? That's extremely important. And I know guys, you're not gonna wanna hear this because you grew up this way. Dairy is the number one inflammatory food. I don't mean chicken, I don't mean eggs. I mean your favorites, milk, butter, yogurt, ice cream. That's what I'm talking about, right? And I hate to say it, cheese as well. So dairy is very inflammatory. And if there's one food in the years of practice I've seen creating mucus and congestion and additional lung and pulmonary complications, it's dairy. All right, what's the second population group of folks I wanna address and help to see through this tonight? Well, it would be people with infants, okay? Realize this, babies come into the world very much affected by mother's microbiome. So I could understand the panic and worry you have if you're either pregnant or you just had a baby and you're nursing. Moms, your food going to that baby matter. I remember what something we did when our kids were growing up, we would give them cod liver oil. It's a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, which is great for the brain, but it also has great amounts of vitamin D and vitamin A in the most natural forms that you can find this from cod liver oil. But what's the significance? These babes also have a human tummy, right? Or their human microbiome that needs probiotics. You can use vitamins and minerals to help strengthen their body. So I don't want you running in fear because you think this child can no way take a supplement or a vitamin, they can. When our own child was less than two years old, that's our first who's now 11, we actually had him diagnosed with a viral upper respiratory infection. We were told to go home, keep him cool, keep his temperature in control, hydrate him and rest him. We went right into it using herbs like echinacea, vitamin C and homeopathic remedies to strengthen the immune system. Okay, now what's the third group I wanna to address tonight? This is anyone immunocompromised. And guys, you know me out there at the work I do. Lyme disease, we do chronic fatigue. We have a lot of patients with compromised bowel tracts. So for you people too, I want you to realize, you know me, there's testing you can do. Test for zinc, vitamin A, and minerals. So I can tell you, you guys need additional attention. I'd love to structure a diet for you and help you through this, but some general things that apply to you guys, you know our product called Immunomax, that is fantastic along with additional vitamin C right now. That's echinacea, mushroom extracts, and zinc and herbs. And this is the shining star in my opinion in all of natural medicine when it comes to battling microbes, that's the war against viruses. So for my immunocompromised patients out there, feel safe that you can do something and be proactive to build your immune system. All right, so what are my three tips? My three tips for everybody out there are gonna start this way. Number one, when you're in the kitchen, stop the sugar consumption. Hate to break it to you, sugar lowers white blood cell count. 
candy, cakes, donuts, pies, cookie, ice cream, candy. Don't do it. It drops your white blood cell count. Number two, what can you do? Foods rich in zinc, okay? And my really knowledgeable, super knowledgeable patients, I know you get them from meat. I might have vegetarians out there. You're going to get them from nuts. You're going to get them from grains. And if you're concerned, you can cook them first to break down something called a phytate to free up the zinc. You can soak your grains. So many cool things you can do. All right, number three tip that you can do in the kitchen then is sources of vitamin A. You probably thought I was going to say vitamin D, vitamin A. So think to yourself, where do you get this from? Or it's natural precursor, beta carotene. You get it from egg yolks. You get it from yams, colored peppers. You can get it from apricots. So think to yourself, what are the fruits and vegetables that are natural sources of beta carotene, that pigment that helps convert into vitamin A in your body, helping your immune system? All right, everybody, I hope these few tips were helpful for helping to keep our immune system up to par as we battle this coronavirus. I wanna let you know we have all of those vitamins and minerals in stock. I'm still doing phone and Skype consultations. In fact, we just did one today out of Colorado, went super well. This was a patient who had severe mold. She had mycotoxin damage from a water um, infiltrated building for years working in this environment. We've seen her through that. She was concerned, revised the plan, still doing well. So looking forward to helping you guys. Once again, this is Dr. Noah Erickson from Innovative Family Wellness wishing you invincible health. Take care.